Hi there, this is Kathy Crow at the Crow Cottage. And today I wanted to run through um, this card pack. Uh, this is Santa's Workshop Memories and More card pack. I think it's just 10 bucks. It's probably one of the best deals I've seen from Stampin' Up! ever. And then there are also a couple of other things in the catalog I wanted to show you. Um, some of the papers are better than others, but there also was, um, they had to discontinue Joyous Noel. That was actually one of the best ones they had. And um, they couldn't get, the manufacturers just couldn't get the product to Stampin' Up! in time for Christmas for us to make stuff. So anyhow, I'm going to swing us around and, um, and see if my camera will um, show everything that I want it to to show and I'm not sure if I can find my video online I'm gonna look for it and see if I can see it and oh yay you know I started a new page because uh, for some reason with my old page it would not um, it wouldn't show it wouldn't do it horizontal for me uh, no matter what I did and I kept thinking it was me then I realized it wasn't me it actually is the way Facebook does stuff so anyhow it doesn't matter I'm sure I I'm sure it was me actually I'm saying that but reality is is that I think if I'd known what I was doing it would have been okay um, Okay, so I'm going to get to the card pack here in just a second. I've kind of taken it apart because I'm going to make one of the cards out of it. But I also just wanted to mention that the other things that aren't available are the, the cute little, um, oh, um, in that are the little farmhouse elements. Okay, so it's just little wood pieces that wasn't available. And... Um, also the um you got this is all the stuff i ordered that's why it's all circled um and then also these little element enamel element shapes which were really cute so i'm sorry that they're not available but um you actually other than the trees you could probably find similar things in the store like michael's or hobby lobby or craft warehouse or someplace like that joanne's fabrics i'm trying not to forget any of them they're all useful and um but i especially wanted to show you this paper this is santa's workshop specialty designer series paper because it's probably one of the best christmas papers ever yesterday i went down because uh, michael's had like a paper pack six dollars or seven dollars for paper packs that were normally twenty dollars and I went to see what they had but didn't buy any because um there's these are flocked okay folks as I'm rubbing this this is like fuzzy it's so cool all the white little candy canes that you could punch out of this would have fuzzy and then on this side they're cute bows so this is equally useful when they have such great sides it's like oh I don't I want all of this side and I want all of this side too <laughs> um, but you do have to choose one or the other uh, unless you do a flip card the great things about those flip cards is you can get to see two sides and boxes also so we are going to be using um, some of these papers for my uh, boxes bags and tags class coming up um, please be sure to note that and then this paper is flocked too there's little fuzzy snowflakes all over it and it's so cute and it goes with the signs of Santa stamp set and then this is the other side um, and this is cute but on this side is this is another um, kind of like uh, the sign is another match to the signs of Santa it's the same stamps but they're just done for you so you can cut them out and the little packages are flocked <laughs> Fuzzy Santa's got a fuzzy little candy cane there, and he's got fuzzy, fuzzy on his hood. I mean, his cap and the elves caps fuzzy. I'm just telling you, as a if I were um, a little kid, I'd go even crazier over it. But I'm trying to control myself a little bit. So you get two sheets of each. Now these aren't flocked, but they're still going to be great background or box type paper and then th then there's just more of the same okay there's another one that I didn't show you and this is actually a really cute design that we're going to be working with in the card pack has um a a big bigger selection I mean a bigger image of this same this same thing and you might have seen it when I had it out there 
Okay, so just really quick, I know you cannot get the Joyous Noel paper anymore, but I do want you to see what you're going to be getting to work with when you come to one of my, to the next workshop where we're going to do boxes. Because I bought a bunch of this. This is probably partly why it's not available anymore. I'm sure I'm not the only one who did that. We buy a bunch because we want to use it, right? And um, this has, a lot of the papers have gold, uh, Oh, what do you call it? It's, um, oh, what is it when it's gold, people? Uh, anybody know out there who can let me know? It's, um, not gilded really, but anyway, um, it's, uh, that's one of the reasons these papers probably went so quick is that they, most of them, I think actually looks like all, all of them, all of them have one side that has this really pretty gold, um, pattern but the other sides are just as pretty even if they aren't gold um, they are going to be so nice um, for all kinds of, of, of cards and packaging even after Christmas so this was a really nice thing and I'm just kind of trying to make you jealous thinking well I'm going to come to your class but I also am just reminding you that the Stampin' Up! papers are better than most of the other stuff. Now you can find really good deals once in a while, but um, most of the time you're not gonna find, these packs were $14.99 I think each, and I snapped them up when they come along uh, because they they are really good and, um, and I know I'm gonna use them in class, but I'm gonna use them uh, throughout the year. The Christmas ones, Except for the Signs of Santa one is pretty much just Christmas, but most of the other papers are good for other times too. Now here's one exception, and I'm just going to suggest that if you want shimmery paper, you might want to buy something other than the shimmery white cardstock because um, I bought their shimmery white and it is shimmery, but even in real life here, I have to look really close to see that shimmer. And it's pretty, and it wasn't expensive, so I'm happy with it. But if you want something that's very shimmery, you're going to need to either shimmer it yourself with some Wink of Stella or something like that, or you are going to want to um, buy glitter paper because that shimmery paper is so subtle. Uh, if you want something that's so subtle that you can barely... And some people do, okay? Some people like uh, very muted tones but for me Christmas come on let's just go whole hog okay so back to the signs of Santa stamp I haven't bought the stamp set because uh, you know I don't know if I am going to use them and the paper actually is going to serve as my stamps for cards but the framelits are pretty cute they might have been nice but um, the other thing I wanted to show you out of this catalog um, and if you want a holiday catalog, please message me. I would be happy to get you one. Uh, let's see, where was it? Oh, oh, it's the Santa's pack. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so your Santa's Memories Workshop, um, Santa's Workshop Memories and More Card Pack. It is just ten dollars. So um, we're going to look at that pack because when I got it, I was just stunned at how many wonderful cards I could make out of this. So this is cardstock that I put in here because we're going to make, I'm going to make a couple of cards, but these are all of the, um, all of the things that come in here. They're all, um, well, not all, that one's not double-sided, but oh, this one, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I think there's only two of each, so I couldn't do a card class out of this, but that's cute. And then um, this is, I think this is that paper I was talking about. It had the background was this, but this is bigger and it's shimmery. Very cute. And most of them are double-sided. Okay. And um, there's just a variety of things you can do. So I got my little tags. I took my tag stamp. There's a Christmas tag stamp that you just pr do one stamping of. Oh, I should have got that out and done it. I just didn't think about it. I'd already done it in red. And then you just run it through your big shot one time. You get all these wonderful little tags. Um, so I'm, we're going to use that. But also, th that was separate. But in the kit, they also have all these little things that you can just punch out 
They're already cut for you and ready to go. And they even have a sticky backing. <laughs> Woohoo! isn't that cool? So I don't have to um, put a whole bunch of glue on stuff. Those are already gonna be sticking to my cards. And they have some smaller ones. Again, all very cute designs. You're gonna love this pack. As I went through it, I was just thinking, I want to use that side and I want to use that side and there's this one that's glittery and this one that's glittery ho 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 very cute this one there's a lot of really good glittery ones okay so I'm just <laughs> I'm like okay I should stop but on the other hand they're too cute to not show you all of them look at that isn't that isn't that adorable I love these Oh yeah, you can use, now here's the other thing I didn't think about. This is like, all of these are a little big for a card for me. Um, I would probably be, uh, oh, I don't know. I think I would have, I, I normally would cut it down a little bit. This is bigger than my usual, you know, five and a half. These though would be really good for um, scrapbooking. If you like to scrapbook, you could also um, use these to do scrapbooks with. Oh boy, that would make it easy, wouldn't it, to do do these with scrapbooking. Okay, so this isn't all of it. I'm not showing you everything because I'm sure you're getting tired of looking at it, but I, I, I'm not. Every time I go through it, I keep seeing new, <laughs> new things. I'm thinking, oh, I can do this and I can do that with it. And all of these designs are so cute, pre-cut, and like I said, $10 for the whole thing. Now, you don't get any other card stock other than the designed ones, and um, also there's no envelopes, but I'm just telling you, you are going to just go crazy with all the things you can do. Then there are all these little tags. These you can just punch out, and again, they're stickies, so um, you could do a really cute... Um, Na oh, uh, nativity, no, not nativity. What is it? It's an advent, cal well, they call it advent calendar, right? Although this is clearly probably not going to be advent related, but um, where you have little doors and open them up, you could do this. It's not, not too late, folks. You could do a really cute um, little calendar and have your own treats behind it. Oh, look at that. Cute. Santa Claus is coming to town. So are you in the mood for Christmas yet? I hope so. I certainly am. If anybody's out there, make sure that you comment. Um, and then if you share my video, I will put you in a drawing. Tomorrow is Friday. And I think there has been one person who has shared my video. And that lucky person um, will win the prize at the end of the week. So uh, if you want to win something, share my video. And that's the case every time you see a video. If you share it, um, that just gets me to more of an audience. Plus, the people who share it actually get to keep seeing my stuff. Because the way Facebook works, if you are not liked and shared, it means that people don't really want to see you that much and they and they won't. You won't see me in your feed. And if you don't want to see me, that's fine. But if you do, you should probably go ahead and like and share. And who doesn't like free stuff? Okay, so we're going to use one of the little holly jollies on our card. And I want to get my... I probably lost it now because I was running through all of those. Where was that? That really cute one. Not that one. It must be on the bottom. Okay, let's go from the bottom. <laughs> it isn't on the bottom either. No, I thought it was that one, but it's not. Oh, I should have pulled it out because now this is ridiculous. Ah, where did he go? I did have them. Oh, here it is. This is the one. We're going to use this one and... Um, I was going to use this, but I think in a other, I don't want to take forever here, so we'll just do one. And if I, if I feel like it, maybe I'll do another one. But um, so this is just a little bit bigger than my card stock. I want it to go on green because I won't have to mat it. He's going to go on there really nicely, just like this, don't you think? I just need to trim it a little bit. So I went ahead and cut my card stock already okay so we cut it 
I took an eight and a half and eleven by eleven piece of paper and cut it. So this is uh, five and a half by. Well, if I get my magic edge out, there it is. Then we can see, and it <laughs> it better be eight and a. Oops, there we go. Yes, eight and a half. Okay, so you're just cutting that eight and a half. We're gonna go, I, the, the um, Stampin' Up! cutter has a scoring blade, so that's one reason it's nice to have one of those. And um, so I scored it already and it's ready to, to go. Now, I'm gonna turn this so that I can see what I'm doing, because otherwise I won't be able to. And boy, it is so cold. So this morning when I went out, I was stunned to see that all my little impatience that have been so pretty all along this fall are definitely gone now. They, they are brown and not looking so good. So um, I, I knew that it was going to happen. I wasn't that disappointed because I knew it was going to happen one of these days. And I am glad now that the irrigation water shut off. I wasn't so glad when I had to get out there and do some hand watering, but now I'm happy about that because I don't have to worry about it freezing and ruining that. It used to be in the old days long ago, I just stood out in the yard with my hose and watered and watered. Okay, so this is gonna fit on here right like this. Now, doesn't that look cute? And he's almost, that card's almost ready to be finished to send to somebody right now. And all I did was just cut a little bit here and there. So, there you go. Now, if you go in my store and order from me, please use the hostess code. I will give it out at the end. I will write it down there on the in the link. If you spend more than $149.99 in products, or $150 basically, you will get your own host, you'll get your own rewards. So don't put in the hostess code. But if you do a order and you put in the hostess code, make sure you you check out putting giving me your name and your address and your your email so that I can send you a free gift. And then we're gonna take this little Holly. Holly jolly. Oh, what do I think? I don't think so. Ho, ho, ho. Let's do ho, ho, ho. And um, I do have some smaller ribbon, but I'm not going to go hunt it down. I left this on my desk, so we'll just make it do. And maybe I'll get out my little other tool to, to poke that ribbon through, because this is going to be kind of a challenge otherwise. Okay. Oops, not that end. This is our new little pickup tool, and it has all kinds of handy little parts to it. Okay, so now I can use that to stick this through my, oh, I want to, I want to do it this way, though, not that way. It's so sharp that it's just going through <laughs> the ribbon. There's actually another end. Let me get the other end out because <laughs> this is the end I normally have in because I'm scraping beads off, but it actually comes with these embossing ends too, and it might actually poke through better. I don't know if it will because it's a, they're, they're not the smallest embossing ends that I've ever seen. I think I have a smaller one than this one's actually kind of fat, so we'll see. There we go, it is, it's working. Okay, so that ribbon goes, oh, I hope I can get it through without it tearing that paper. I should have probably got it. If I tear it, I'll just have to go get another ribbon because <laughs> this is a little bit chunky to go through. Whew, I made it. Now when I pull it though, it's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be really careful because when I was doing a workshop this last weekend, the um, I was excited in the class, of course, blabbing and on and on and then just jerked my ribbon really quickly and it, and it ripped it off. Oh, I was glad I had some extras made, although 
it was close because I did that. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. It kind of wrapped all the way around there. Isn't that interesting? I didn't even know it was going to do that. I don't know that I really like that it's doing that, but we're going to live with it because I'm not going to bother throwing it away or anything. And then I'll just put a little dimensional um, on here. A little one will do. And there you go. One card almost done because I'll probably put an inside stamp. Oh, I like that. Isn't that cute? Very sweet. Okay, so that one's done and I have another card out here. I might as well just do it. So this one, let's choose something cute here. What do we got? Now, I, I have white. You know what? I bet you I was thinking, I want to put this on here. And I'm, oh, I know. There's a, there's a snowman. Oh, he'd look really good on this. I'm going to have to, let me fix my card. It's not exactly the way I want it there. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I am going to need to just trim some of it off, but you know, I don't want to waste any of this. If I trim just this tiny bit off, it, I'm never going to use it. So I'm going to trim off a bigger piece so that I can use the square piece and I'll still have an extra piece there. And when you're, you know, making, when you buy these papers, you, you just want to think about sometimes what you're, what you're going to do with them. Because if I had just um, cut that. Yeah, I would have been mad later that I hadn't. But this is a big enough piece now. I can still use that. We will use it like this and we can put ribbon on it. But I also have, I remembered that there was this, and I do like this oak Christmas tree, but I, but there's this, right, on this side. So I can double it up with this. And I might actually use my smaller piece. I think that's going to work better. And then we'll find um, another one to put on the very bottom of the of it just to cover up some of my, my white that's there. Let's see. I'm looking over here at these papers to see if there's a, a coordinating one. Now, with Stampin' Up!, if you buy their papers, they um, all of the colors coordinate um, as families. This believe would have looked nice under there, huh? And that's one of the reasons I really like Stampin' Up! You can buy the pencils and the pens and the inks and all of that is going to be color coordinate. Oh, this is probably what I was going to do because that one's cute. Um, they're going to be color coordinated and you don't have to worry about it because a lot of the times when I go buy stuff at the store, I bought a piece of paper here from one company and a piece of paper there. And the problem with that is, um, the, you know, the, the colors are close. You know, but they don't match perfectly. And many of us who make cards do make background papers and and um, and blend our inks and all of that. But you don't always want to be doing that. And um, with Stampin' Up! you don't have to. Their things are already very color coordinated. Like, I love how these, this is red and um, this aqua. It's probably, this aqua color is my favorite color. And, um... And I'm so happy that Christmas, you know, stuff, the fashion has come around to using it. And they're combining it with this red in a way I never would have on my own. So um, that's pretty cool. I'm not seeing a good, I don't want to put green with it. So I'm probably not going to finish the card because I just don't want to put green with it. So let's look at my ho 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 santa i think we'll put him on here but he is so big that i'll have to put i'll have to get a bigger piece so you see what happens if you put if you just cut your cardstock in half it's going to be too big for that so i'll have to grab another sheet of paper over here and i always have a lot handy so i it's just a matter of hunting in my 
stack of papers till I can find find one that I suspect is big enough or close. Yep, that one's very close, so that will work. And this one is actually glossy paper, so normally I would be using this to do um, some water coloring, but uh, just to get this card done, we'll just use it like this. Okay, so now I'm using some rubber cement, although I'm a little afraid to because a rubber cement does interact with glitter and, and makes it fall off sometimes. So maybe I shouldn't. I did on that other card. We'll see what happens to it. But um, there's, I've got like so many different kinds of adhesives around here. It's like, where, where, do, where are they? They're, they're everywhere. Well, what's this? Oh, those are my dots. I don't want to use those. Oh, there's one. Okay, so this is our fast fuse, which works great as long as I'm using it properly. But, you know, I always have, a, it never wants to really stay. <laughs> right? It's like, okay, there we go. Okay, it does work good once you know what you're doing. And um, I have on here, I've written on here, pull toward you. So I know this is up and I'm pulling it towards me because otherwise I always start the, the whole thing wrong. And when you've got it already stuck like this, this fast fuse is really good stuff. It is not going to be forgiving to me at all if I don't get my card in exactly the spot I want it. So... I don't know that I got it in the exact spot, but I think we got it close enough. And then I'm just gonna trim off the edge and we'll have another card all done. I don't really wanna trim all of that edge off, but I think I'll do that with my scissors. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to probably trim just a tiny bit more than just that off. Oh, it's pretty thick. Hmm. All right. I just trim a little with my scissors. Okay, and then this one, I don't want to trim all of that off. I'm going to let it hang over just a little bit because I want to see all of the ho, ho, ho. Okay. So this is not a time that I normally would get on here and do a card, but I wanted to do it um, to make sure my camera was working properly. And then I'll share it over to my other Kathy Crow's cards and we'll see how this goes because I really only want one page. Right now I have two pages and I'm going to merge them eventually, but I want to make sure that they're working properly. So I'm going to flip the camera back up again. I don't think there was anything else. Oops. I don't know that I can. It's sort of complaining about that. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Um, I hope you have a great day. Remember, pray for the people you send your Christmas cards to. Um, they need it, <laughs> as do we all. All right, I think I'm upside down. <laughs> I'm going to flip me back over because um, there. Now, here I am. <laughs> sorry about that. Have a great day. Bye.